How much does an estate planning lawyer charge? One of the top reasons why people don't get an estate plan is because it costs too much. So before we even begin to talk about how much you should or should not pay for an estate plan, here are our current rates for June of 2021. Our estate plans include power of attorneys, financial and health care, a simple will, a simple revocable trust and the deed that comes with it, advanced directives or living will, and a few other documents. The cost for a single person starts at $2,000 and it includes all of the documents and the cost for a couple starts at $2,500 because of course we'll have a few additional documents for each spouse. I use starts at because sometimes people have additional real properties or they may have a business or two or they have complex circumstances that may require additional work and of course the cost will be a little bit higher. But most people qualify within these starting at rates. They just have a home, some investments, a few bank accounts and a few beneficiaries. And basically the main goal is for them to avoid probate or avoid going to court and to just provide a smooth transition should something happen to them. The thing is that if you don't have an estate plan in place and you become unable to make decisions, an adult guardianship proceeding will likely have to be initiated. And similarly, if you pass away and there is nothing in writing or no estate plan, the probate will likely have to be filed in order to transfer or sell the real property in your estate. As you can imagine, the cost of an adult guardianship proceeding and the cost of a probate far exceeds the cost of an estate plan. I'm making this short video because two recent clients and several other people have commented in the past how they were quoted or they had friends tell them or they simply expected to pay over $10,000 for an estate plan simply because they have significant financial assets. And by that I mean, for example, they have over $500,000 in investments, they may have a $2 million life insurance and such. As you may know, or if you do not know, be sure to talk to your financial advisor. Most of these financial assets go to the listed beneficiaries. So as long as you have responsible and adult beneficiaries, these financial assets will likely not have a big impact on your estate plan. But if you have minor children, or you need to have some tax planning, or you have several businesses like we mentioned before, and you have a complex situation, sometimes blended families may require additional work, then you can probably expect to pay a little more than the starting at rates. The reality is though, that most people only have a home, some investments, a few bank accounts, maybe a life insurance provided through work, and a few beneficiaries. The cost of a deed is the same if your home is worth $60,000 or $2 million. The process of discussing financial assets is the same if your beneficiaries are to receive $500,000 or $10 million. To summarize it, the cost of an estate plan should be reasonable and make sense. You should fully understand your options and make an educated decision on how to proceed with your plan. If you want to learn more about estate planning before meeting with an attorney, please consider attending one of our free estate planning educational events. We host them monthly, they're absolutely free, and you can bring your questions and get to learn more about estate planning so you are better prepared for when you're ready to sit down and discuss your estate plan. In the meantime, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our Facebook page and watch our other free educational videos. And don't hesitate to email me or give us a call 405-857-8231 if you have any questions or suggestions on future video topics. Thank you for watching.